Ah, here we go. Recording with audio this time. I actually already recorded an answer to Mr. Epochs Vox's question about my inside clipboard stuff, but I wasn't recording audio, so the whole thing was moot and useless. So, real quick here, Mr. Epox, blah, 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 Mr. Epox Vox thinks he's worthy of speaking to me. <laughs> uh, and he's asked for my help. So let's see what, oh, what a pathetic script he has here. Have you not been paying attention? If you go to my script, you will see it is absurdly complicated, and I have so much explanation here. Did you read this? About how it works. And um, uh, basically, you have to ensure that Premiere Pro is active, and you have to ensure that the timeline is active. This will basically just send the keystrokes. Uh, let's find out. I think it's Control Alt Shift One Zero Zero. So zero will highlight the timeline. Seven will highlight the effects panel. One will highlight a bin, and I think that's about all that I have set up. Actually, that's all that I need. Um, and what that little function uh, does is it just uh, it just br uh, just basically hits that button. So anyway. Um, then it will load from file. Let's see, where is that? Is that up here? Hmm. Sound effect actions. Load from file. Where is it? Oh, there's so many places it could be. Right down here. So load from file is very simple. It, it is just this script here. Yeah, dash load CLP. So uh, I know that EpostVox has this working. Save to file is the same. Very simple. And uh, because it uses comspec and uh, uses um, inside clipboard.exe that might become the new app that is in focus or it might be the command prompt that's in focus and you don't want that so you have to ensure that Premiere is back in focus and basically what's really important is that it loads a clip of text into the clip into the uh, clipboard and it also clears the clipboard both of these are important because you have to clear out the previous thing that was in the clipboard, which might be anything. It might be that or whatever. Because otherwise, the clipboard of Premiere does not know that it's actually uh, empty. So you have to do that. And then you have to ensure Premiere is active and then do this very fancy way of doing a control V. Because you have to get rid of shift because it might be being held down or it might be residual. Whatever, doesn't matter. You gotta do that. And then very carefully, control down, V down, sleep for five milliseconds, and then control uh, V up and control up. You you very, very carefully ensure that paste has happened. And if I could directly activate paste itself, I would do that. But I have to use the shortcut, and so I, I try to do it as robustly as possible, which is what this is. And then, I don't think this line is, is necessary, but it just clears the clipboard again. Then it loads the new clipboard that you actually want. And uh, right here you see all my little clippy clipboards. Clip S, Clip E, Clip D, Clip W, Clip F12, and so on and so forth. We've got Clip Fuck You. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember that one. Uh, and it loads it. I used to have it load twice, but it turns out that for whatever reason, I don't need to do that anymore. What was happening was it would still have the old one active or it just wouldn't have anything at all, which was problematic. So anyway, uh, you can ignore this part. This basically just uh, will do one of these. Oh, hang on. Mm, let's try this. We'll do one. Oh, come on. We'll do this and this. But it will do so to ensure 100% that the F5 track is actually selected. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's a... Hmm, it is that. Uh, let's go back to here. Yeah. So this is just a toggle. There's no way to guarantee that all the tracks are actually active or not active. And this affects pasting, so I had to be sure. So I actually had to use image search to figure out if V1 and A1 are active or not and uh, have it still work whether or not they are locked or not or expanded or not. It was a nightmare. Basically, there's eight possible ways that this could look. But I got it working enough, damn it, where it will actually know for sure uh, which track is actually targeted. 
So anyway, then it does the pasting again very accurately and ensuring that Premiere Pro is active. And we already have ensured that uh, we are in the timeline. And you know what? I should also have a little line of code here that says to deactivate uh, keyboard and mouse and then reactivate it at the very end because if you move around you might click on something or type something in and that will be problematic so I still the script is still not actually finished uh, let's see target uh, you can ignore this part too this just uh, retargets everything so it'll be like this and then it will basically just do that to bring all your targets back because that's usually how I like to have it and then it's done so again the very important part is to ensure that the clipboard is cleared because Premiere's clipboard and the real clipboard don't always agree uh, you just have to make sure that Premiere knows so I'm just gonna show you I should be pasting some blackness here totally pasted blackness paste orange on track 5 totally did and let's uh, let's try iris Ta-da! That's totally an iris. Let's try, uh, this should be music. Totally worked. And uh, let's do a, let's see, transitions are a little trickier. Did that work? I think I have to do it like this. Yeah. Oh, hang on. That shouldn't have been iris. Oh, I must have reprogrammed that one. Okay. That one should be wipe up and down. Yep. And this one should be a wipe from one corner to the other. Totally is. Excellent. It does work. And I have different keys actually for my sound effects. I usually don't paste it in like this because it's just a slower script. I have one that uh, actually just loads it in from a uh, from a project panel. It goes all the way over here and types something in using the find box and then double clicks to load it into there and basically just uh, straight up does an insert or an overwrite. So even simpler. Uh, anyway, now you know how this works. You've got to follow this code basically to the letter. Read all the uh, comments and stuff because otherwise you're, you're going to have a bad time. And uh, let's just take a quick look at how I have it working with my second keyboard. It dynamically creates the names, so I don't even have to deal with that. In Mr. Epoch's Voxes, he has to do it manually. Oh, meow, boop, beep. Nah, that's too annoying. Uh, I just have it named. Let me show you here. Ah, oh, the script is so long. It's so long. I hate navigating through here, but I have to have it all in one place. I don't know how to make scripts talk to each other. If you know how to do that, by all means, where the hell is it? Here we go. Okay. There's the script. Recall clipboard is just pressing the key T on the secondary keyboard or any of these other ones. And saving is shift T. And uh, the way that I've written this here is exactly the same as doing it this way. But uh, actually, I don't know if the Q would need a quotation marks around it or not. But it will save clipboard. It will go to that function and use whatever the hotkey is. And then if we go to save clipboard itself, I just have to uh, get rid of those modifiers to ensure that that's not saved in the file name because those are illegal characters. And then it will save that clip just as you saw right over here. Ta-da! And, uh, and uh, it'll do so twice because you don't know if the program that you're talking to with AutoHotKey has actually completed what it's supposed to do yet. So in this case, we're waiting for... Uh, Clipboard, inside clipboard.exe and also for Premiere to get their stuff done. So we don't actually know if it's ready to save yet. Like it, it might still be copying at that point. So to just have an additional one is not going to hurt you. So I did. So let's just try that functionality here. Let's uh, put something crazy on the timeline. Let's put this and we'll color it orange. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Let's save that as, let's go shift T. And now I'm going to go all the way over here, paste it on track five. Ta-da! Totally works. Um, one thing to be aware of is that it actually 
will not use the correct label color. Did I say that already? And uh, that's because, oh, that's because uh, Premiere is stupid. And the first time you paste something, it'll have the wrong color. Nothing I can do to fix that. So there you go. Now you know. Follow the text. I wrote all this for you guys to read. Uh, blah, 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 blah.